The ancient cultures of the New World are the source of some of our most intriguing mysteries. Hundreds of ruined cities and monuments dot the hemisphere. From the jungles of Mexico and Guatemala to the desert wastelands of Peru, they have exerted their uncanny fascination on generations of archaeologists and explorers. In the 1920s, it was the arid plains of southern Peru that caught the world's attention. In huge, above-ground cemeteries, archaeologists came across skeletons and artefacts thousands of years old. Few places in the world are as dry as this coastal desert. Here, rain almost never falls. The remains of long-ago peoples lie bleached in the unremitting glare of the sun. These scorched plateaus have remained changeless for centuries, preserving one of the most amazing mysteries of the ancient world. In the last half century, people from all over the globe have flocked to this forsaken land. With cameras and maps, they set off on an incredible journey. For scratched into the earth for over 300 miles, the desert reveals hundreds of lines and giant animal figures. First noted by archaeologists in 1926, they were initially dismissed as ancient irrigation channels. The extent of the lines wasn't realized until the 1930s, when pilots flew over the desert for the first time. The once disregarded lines were now revealed to form the outlines of birds and the legs of a giant spider. Baffled by the colossal designs, archaeologists began a decades-long search for their origin and meaning. Peru had once been home to ancient cultures like the Nazca, the Paracas, and the Moche, but which, if any, could have drawn these extraordinary lines? The answer would finally come from a simple ceramic vessel. For years, Nazca pots had been prized by collectors, admired for their bold figure designs. When archaeologists finally compared the designs on the pots with those in the desert, the parallels were startling. The Nazca Indians must have been the ones to etch the drawings on the desert plateau. The Nazca had dominated Peru's rocky desert for more than 700 years, beginning in the first century. A resourceful people who had eked out a living in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. The desert was a perfect palette for their creations. With amazing engineering skill, these ancient people plotted lines thousands of feet long. By clearing away the dark stones that covered the desert floor, they slowly brought their designs to life. Peru's unchanging desert allowed the lines to lie undisturbed for almost 2,000 years. But why would a culture create such monumental designs that they themselves could never fully see? Some amateur archaeologists concluded that the ancient Nazca must have discovered a way to fly. One writer wrote a sensational bestseller claiming the Nazca lines were landing strips for alien spaceships. 
scientists came up with more legitimate, if less mysterious, theories. For years, many believed the designs represented an astronomical map, with the figures and lines as constellations. As the theory goes, the lines would have revealed the correct time of year for planting and harvesting crops. The latest research, however, suggests that the lines may be better called pathways. In this forsaken land, water has always meant survival. Scientists now believe that the Nazca may have built the lines to be walked on in a kind of sacred pilgrimage to honor their rain gods. The tradition of line building has long since disappeared, but descendants of the Nazca people still live in this harsh realm. Their livelihood now depends on the thousands of visitors who come here every year, lured by the mystery of the Nazca lines.